Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Hearthstone. It is currently Thursday, which means that it's time for a new Tavern Brawl. As you may have noticed, got 50 packs to open up. Sadly, they are all still sealed. They will be available in spring, but for those of you wondering whether or not I'm going to be checking out the old gods, most definitely will. Now I think of it, I really should go ahead and like select that card back if I can find it somewhere. Is it available yet, actually? I'm not even sure. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Yep, we're gonna make this our favorite suite. Alright, um, so today we're gonna be checking out the crazy rules of the new Tavern Brawl, even though they fired the voice actor a long time ago, it feels like. <clears throat> Looks like we do get to build a new deck, though. The Battle of Tol Barat. Magical creatures are escaping from Tol Barat. Play a minion and get a random spell of the same cost, but for free. Huh. I mean, considering we are going to be playing a lot of minions in that case, right? The very first deck that comes to mind immediately, and I know I played it quite a lot in Tavern Brawls, is just the good old Zulog deck. I mean, yeah, like, wh what's wrong? What's wrong with a Zulog deck in this case, right? We can put in some Flame Amps. I guess I don't really need to put in Mortal Coil, because we're probably going to get one for free. Uh, but we can, like, put on cards like this that are always really going to be good, and since, like, the decks like this are going to be primarily made around, um... We'll put a Void Terror in there because we can, but these kind of decks are primarily made around, you know, just spawning a ton of minions. They're pretty much always going to be great, right? It's funny how so many of these cards that you used to play in Zulog decks, like the Shattered Sun Cleric, for example, are just, like, not really something that you choose anymore, just because there have been better replacements for it. It's kind of funny. But anyway, I'm just making a good old Zulog deck here. Put in a Dark Iron Dwarf, put in a couple of Defender of Argus's. We're almost already full here. Um, I'm thinking about just simply putting in a Lothep as well. And probably round out the deck with maybe, you know, a couple of other big dudes as well. Actually, I'm thinking, like, since we're gonna get a lot of spells out, cards like the Spectral Knight should be really good, right? Just because they can't actually be targeted by spells? What else is actually... Can't... Can't be targeted. Does that work? Yeah. Well, we could put in some Fairy Dragons as well. Um... Alright, fine. We'll get rid of the Dire Wolf Alpha, and we'll get rid of... One of the Leper Gnomes and go for two Fairy Dragons instead. I don't know if this is a good idea. We'll just run with it. We'll just run with it. This is a bit of a funny deck here. As always, the list will be down below in the description if you're interested in giving it a try yourself. But it's time for the Battle of Tolbarat. Ooh, we find ourselves a worthy opponent. Assy. <laughs> I like his nickname. Alright, uh, this is not a normal opener hand for a Zulog deck, that's for certain. Gonna rid of all of these three, because I don't want any of those. Hopefully gonna get something a little better. There we go, Flame Imp is always good. I didn't put as many, like, one mana cards or whatever in the deck, but... Ah, this should do... Yeah, this should do just fine. There we go. So we're gonna get a spell as well that's also gonna be one mana. Give a friendly beast... Oh, wait, they're gonna be free! Oh, snap, I forgot about that part. Uh, give a friendly beast, plus two attack, and immune this turn. Well, sadly, I don't have any beasts. Um, I'm gonna be putting some spiders out on the board, hopefully. If we get there. Yeah, a lot of these are not regarded as beasts. I mean, those are demons, obviously. Shouldn't let Gul'dan hear that. Like, he probably wouldn't like that if I say that. Wait, does he get a free coin then spell as well? Probably. Oh, man. He gets a free Eviscerate. All right, then. Um, whale. Whale. I guess we'll hope we get something good. Well, that's a great, great free card there. We could have gotten any minion in a freaking game. Any minion whatsoever. A Murloc. A Murloc tiny fan, for real? <laughs> Arguably the worst portal you could have gotten, honestly. I don't think there would have been a worse. I probably should have played it now and think about it though. Because um, I would have, you know, would have gotten like more value out of it. Yep, I should have. Uh, Alright then. I mean... I mean, maybe if you play this, we get something that we can use to kill out the robo here. Yeah, no, none of these cards are really that awesome. Um. Alright then. A little unfortunate. Yeah, we can equip a 1-3 weapon, but that's just like that. Nobody gets happy from that. Ugh. 
Okay, okay, well, I'm already getting a little bit worried here because this is starting to look really terrible. This druid is absolutely dominating me. Although, to be fair, I've been making a couple of misplays here and there, which definitely don't help me out very much. We just need to get RNG to... Did he just use a Shadow Bolt on that just because he really wanted to get rid of that? All right, I see how it is. Okay, so we do have we do have our implosion right now, uh, which means we may get a lot of value out of the out of the out of the Murloc Tiny Fin. I mean, this is now gonna die in 66% of the chances, right? Here we go, boom! Are you for real, game? Ugh. Well, that's not great. Now we are also gonna get a Wind Fury in my ass, and yeah, that's that's gonna be six damage down. RNG is not on point in this game so far. This is definitely not what we were looking for. As he is handing his ass to- No, he's handing my ass to- I, I don't know. Well, that's game over. Well, not quite, but if you got a swipe or something, we are done. Like, maybe he just got a swipe- Oh, wait, actually- Oh, he didn't hero power, obviously. Alright. Oh, then we're fine. Um... So, we can try and stay alive, I suppose. Question is how? <laughs> yeah, no. This one doesn't doesn't count. This one doesn't count. We're gonna concede. Alright, a warrior now. Clegane. Isn't that Sander? Oh, well. Think we're good. Okay, we got a better opener hand now. This is something we can actually use. Let's try and not make misplays this time around, okay? Maybe Zulok is really bad for this situation, I'm not sure. The Spectral Knight should be quite ni nice though, because like it's not gonna get hit, right? Or it can't be targeted. Alright, Ian. Give me something nice. We got a Beastial Wrath once again. What do I do with Beastial Rats, game? Really disappointed with that uh, with that card so far. Don't really have too many beasts now, do I? Okay. He's gonna go for a Loot Hoarder immediately. Sadly, I've got no buffs available here. Well, these are considered beasts. So I guess we'll play him. Give me something to kill that thing. Oh, yes. Value. <laughs> I think that was value after all, just because I obviously didn't want to have the flame man to die there. Um, result is pretty much the same. It was a free card, right? The first minion you play each turn costs one less. Oh, that thing is never gonna stay alive for another turn, my man. I mean, have you seen my Beast or Vat strategy? It's pretty insane. Alright, he's gonna go ahead and Demon Fire that down. Which is not a card you oftentimes see from a warrior, but... I guess sometimes... Sometimes it happens. Okay, we got Slam. Oh! Well, hey, that works. Slam it. Ha! He got the demon fire, we got the warrior card there with slam. Worth it every time. Oh, his blade is thirsty, we gotta be a little careful about that one. We're just gonna implode that and then... Potentially go for the beast to your wrath on the, um, on the haunted creeper if we need to. Sadly, I don't really have the combination ready to go. I could also... I could also buff up the uh, Dark Iron Dwarf. Yeah, this is probably a little smarter. And I used the Beast Your as well, kill it that way. That's a really good card. Silence all enemy minions. There we go. That way we can save the Knife Juggler and the Implosion to be played together, which always... Like, is one of the best, like, values you can get when playing a Zulok deck. It's always really useful. An Acolyte of Pain. Alright. That's that's a desperation card right there. I mean, you don't really need any more card draw, I don't think, my man. I mean, I can I can probably make you draw dead, actually. Now think about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. No, I I wasn't ready for this. Ooh. All righty then. Um, that's a little more unfortunate then. Do, 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 do. We can just implode it. We can also dispel it. Silence all enemy minions and draw a card. Which will basically make this um, like a very weak minion all of a sudden because it won't do very much, right? 
Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't know, though. Oh, I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna do it. Like, we could have gotten way more value out of it, but at least, like, we're getting something more now, right? Um... Obviously, I do want to use my Void Terror very soon. But I think the Spectral Knight is a little too good here to pass up on. We can also go Defender of Argus in between those two. Then go for the Void Terror in the next turn. And basically have like a really good like buff going on. Ooh, we get a Hellfire there as well. Should we clean that up? Uh, we'll clean up the minion. Probably a little better. Yeah, basically I want to have a taunt out, so in case of like, you know, we create a really big Void Terror, we can obviously also get some value out of the other cards that got out there. It's because you will more than likely stay alive for another turn. Which I think makes sense, it makes sense in my head. Hopefully, hopefully it's actually a good play. <laughs> May have been like the most cringeworthy thing in the world. He's got a Fierce Monkey? I don't even think I've ever seen that card in my life. A Fierce Monkey, a 3-4 Beast with Taunt. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a secret. Uh, is that a mage secret? I don't know. Hmm. Is he, like, I don't know what kind of secret that could be. There could be tons of things. Alright, never mind. We're going, we're going for it. We got a dark, oh, we got a dark bomb? Alright, no, I'm gonna do this. Okay, juggle time! Juggle time! That was actually pretty good juggling skills there. Um, I will go for the double juggle. Just, just keep on juggling. I'm okay with this. We do have a full board, by the way, which makes it a little scary. But hey, he's gonna need something to clean this up eventually. This is, this is starting to be a really weird game. I got so many options still available, though. I mean, I wanted to void terror this thing about 16 times already. Oh, oh, oh! Why? Why would you steal my strongest... Probably also this. Okay, no, I was gonna say. That would have been typical of me. I mean, I may just hellfire this. <laughs> I may just hellfire this. I hope that's not a counter spell. Do you think it could be a counter spell? Oh, crap. I don't know if it could be a counter spell. It could be. Yep. <laughs> a counter spell. I haven't seen that uh, in a while. Uh, this is kind of annoying though, because obviously... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I was gonna say, like, it's basically gonna... It's basically gonna make him a lot weaker, but... Hey. At least it will, it will work. What do we get? A Holy Wrath. Draw a card and deal damage equal to its cost. All right, we'll deal. Uh, we'll deal with that a little later, and the fairy dragon as well. We get confused. Swap the attack and health of all minions. No, don't think I need to do that. <laughs> do not think I need to do that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's gonna be an ice block or something. I've already hit him in the face. I've hit all his minions. I didn't think I hit all his minions, right? Yeah, that's a hunter one right now. And that is a Paladin one. He's probably got Ice Block. Anything, really. We'll have to trigger for, um... We have to trigger for a lot of things, actually. Sustenance. You think it's gonna be the AoE clear? Oh no, it's gonna be a Snake Trap. Alright. That's fine. I don't know if I should have done that like that. Probably not. Draw a card and deal damage to a minion like that. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. All right, fuck. We're gonna do it. I want to see. I want to see a card. I need another card here. All right, that's a pretty good one. Sacred trial after your opponent has at least three minions and he plays one, destroy it. What? I've never even heard of that before. Uh, all right. Wow! That was brilliant! Can I... Oh, man. Oh, we did it! We did it, guys! Woo! Alright, alright, we're gonna get that free card pack, but I wanna play one more. I wanna play one more, because I wanna. 
It's funny how technical this game sometimes becomes. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure many of you are already like cringing at your monitor, like clawing your own eyes out by the misplays that I'm making. Uh, which is totally a reasonable response to someone making misplays. Uh, no, it's not actually, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? Oh man, we got Brand Bronzebeard as well. What's up, Brand? How you doing? I do not have a one drop. A little unfortunate. Usually one of the worst scenarios in case you're playing a uh, a warlock, but eh, it's all right. We we'll get the knife juggler. Oh man, he's got an angry chicken deck. Not the angry chicken deck. You think he's gonna buff it up? Do you think he has like shields? That would be hilarious if he actually gets value out of that holy chicken. He could obviously, obviously holy shield it. He needs to do that twice though. All right. Whenever a character is healed, do one damage to a random enemy. All right. We got a lava shock, by the way. Unlock or deals two damage. Unlocks your overloaded mana crystals. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna use the Lava Shock here, I suppose. I'm secretly hoping that it's gonna, like... Hit the Shadow, dude. Oh, man. Ah, oh, that sucks. That wasn't really what I wanted. Yeah, I was supposed to go to either of those minions. Whenever a character is healed, to do one damage to a random enemy, huh? All right, all right, we got rid of the chicken. I'm scared of the chicken, guys. What can I say? You'll have to clean up the uh, the, the the three one of me right now. Can you even even silence that? Your battle cry. Does that even silence the battle cry trigger twice? I can't imagine it does, right? I've never actually seen anyone silence Brand Bronzebeard before, though. I'm supposing it does. Like, I'm assuming it that it does. Oh god. He's gonna get some healing going. Let's see what the plan is. Alrighty. I think we're going for Dark Iron Dwarf. We'll see if it triggers twice. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Freeze a minion and then the minions to it and do also one damage to him. Hmm. We could use it right now. Which is not a bad choice, actually. Um, we're not gonna get like a ton of value out of it, but at the very least we will be able to make up for turn 5 with ease. Right? Oh, we can also just Lava Shock it. There we go. I don't know if that was like a waste there, but... I tend to, uh, I tend to have a lot of turns where I think too many steps in advance and then I use, like, I just lose tempo. <laughs> so I think that was an okay move. We can go for the Spectral Knight next and... We got a very clean board now. The deck seems to be working quite well. I mean, the first game wasn't really that great, but right now it seems to be, it seems to be, yeah, it seems to be working. It goes for a light well. We can take care of that. I haven't really done very much with my Void Terror yet so far. Oh no, come on. Oh, that sucks. You're gonna buff up? What? What? That's actually pretty interesting. Buffing up like a light well like that. Okay. Um. I can't hit it and then use the, 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 the demon's wrath. I just am one damage short. Sorry. <laughs> that thing just got assassinated. Alrighty then. Sweet. And once again, we got the Spectral Knight out. And the Spectral Knight will deal with all of this stuff just fine. Alright, he's gonna mind fishing it up. Alright. He's got the Void Walker. Nothing too scary there. He's also got the Iron Fur Grizzly. Interesting card to put in your deck, not gonna lie. I guess it's a taunt. <laughs> it's a relatively cheap taunt that's not really great, but, you know, it'll do. Wow. 
Give your tall minions 2-2? Two, two? What the heck is that? Bolster? Wow, that's actually pretty cool. You can't do that, though. You can't target that thing. Alright, he's gonna discard a card. Defender of Argus? Ooh, I don't think you wanted to do that. So the Demon Fire will not hit my own minion, right? Right? Oh, it does? Oh, I thought it wouldn't. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, well, then, then it, that was kind of a bad move. Yeah, then that wasn't that great. I didn't think it would. Okay, at least we got that. At least we got that going for us. I can go ahead and play a Void Walker as well. Oh. Hey, not bad. The Noble Sacrifice is gonna be really useful here as well. Get down! And that thing is dead. Man, these games are in insane. These games are so weird. These games are so weird, though. What? Why would you get all these good cards, Convict? Well, he says, well, right after cleaning up the board multiple times with luck, but... Uh... I mean, I kind of want to get some sort of card draw, but... We gotta get a snipe here. Sweet. Um... I don't know. All of these are bad. Alright, we can get a corruption. Corruption isn't that bad. We'll play another secret then. I could, like, I could just use my hero power, obviously, but the thing is that that is, like, not the most useful way to go in about things. Ah, uh, I think we kind of have to. Probably should have done that sooner, to be honest. Like, always when you want to play a hero power. Or, like, always when you're gonna get a card draw, I guess you want to do it as soon as possible, but... Alright. We got a lot of secrets, though. We still have our Noble Sacrifice here as well, so things should be fine. Noble Sacrifice! Get down, Loco! Ah! There we go. He catches that fireball like a boss. And if he decides to play a minion now, we got that snipe ready to go as well. Sweet! Alrighty. Ooh, we got an explosive shot. That's not bad. Deal. Okay, I guess I'll just play the Void Terror because we can. Transform a minion into a 4-2 boar. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Well, that was kind of what I had planned, Convict. I don't know if you were assuming I made a mistake there, but... The light compels you. Hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Not really sorry. Not quite what was planned, huh? Sorry. Hey, he's healing him back so, or himself back up to full though, so he's got that going for him. <clears throat> I saved so long for the Nerubian egg before using the Void Terror, but uh, destroy a minion, then return it to life with full health. Right? <laughs> Alrighty then, thank you. <laughs> I'm not even complaining. Um, yeah, we'll buff up them two then, right? I don't really, I'm not gonna be able to finish this dude anyway. We could polymorph him as well. Should we do it? Oh man, I just feel like, I wanna do it guys. I know it's technically not the best move in the game. But I just wanna do it. Man. We got 11 damage, 11, we got 19 damage here in hand, that's pretty good. We got so much damage here in hand right away. Okay, we're gonna also get some healing guys. Come on, get something good. Ah, oh, well, alright, it's still a lot of heals though. It's still a lot of heals. Alrighty, so we got lethal in the next turn for sure. Would have been funny if we could have healed ourselves back up to 14 though, like 14 health extra, that would have been insane. Ooh. Ooh, what? Summon a legendary minion, well I guess you're gonna have to hero power here my man, otherwise it's... 
<laughs> you know, a waste of time. Hopefully you get something nice. What are you gonna get? Three, two, one. King Mukla. King Mukla, not the most exciting card in the game. If you have a damaged minion, this one costs less. Well, sadly, you don't have any damaged minions, I suppose. Alrighty then. <sighs> there we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, alright, alright. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We managed to squeeze out another victory. Alrighty, so here we go. We got this pack to open up. Archmage Antonidas would be great. So would Sylvanas be. I'm ready. I'm a little disappointed. A little disappointed there. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed watching this video and you would like to see more like this, make sure you hit that like button down below, but also make sure you subscribe so you get a notification as soon as I upload more, because there's a lot of old gods content coming as soon as I can. I mean, it's gonna be a couple weeks, but hey, at least you'll, you know, you get a notification as soon as it's uploaded. On that, I wanna thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright, and I'll see you in the next one. Boom!